Daniel, and welcome to the Umuno Project. We're here at the Umuno Project. We're continuing our series of videos with respect to education, information, inspiration, guidance, advice. I want to tell another story of um, Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Kosovo. And among um, uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel's Hasidim was a man uh, by the name of uh, Moshe. Uh, he was very well to do. And he was also found, fond of giving uh, lots of charity, lots of tzedakah, and helping people, um, and doing great mitzvahs, always helping people. As sometimes happens, the wheel of fortune turns, and he lost all of his money, and he fell into debt. He goes to Rabbi Menachem Mendel, and um, tells him about his predicament. Rabbi Menachem Mendel he says, go to my brother-in-law, Rabbi Uri, the seraph, the angel, the seraph of Strelisk. You pour out your soul to him. The man did so. He goes to Strelisk, and when Rabbi Uri heard his story, he said, I shall take a ritual bath. I will go to the mikveh for you, and the merit of this mikveh will accrue to your benefit. The man returns to his Rebbe, to uh, Rabbi Menachem Mendel, reports what happened. Rabbi Menachem Mendel says, you go back to my brother-in-law, and you say to him, your mikvah will not serve to pay my creditors. The man goes back to Rabbi Uri of Strelisk, goes there a second time, passes the message along. The Saraf of Strelisk says, Very well, my son. In that case, I will also dedicate to your welfare the merit of my tefillin. I'm putting my tefillin, I will put it on today, and this merit, the schus of my tefillin, will accrue to your benefit. The man goes back, tells Rabbi Menachem Mendel. Rabbi Menachem Mendel sends him back to Rabbi Uri with this message. Your tefillin can't get rid of my tormentors either. So, Rabbi Estralik replies, well, if that's the case, I will do my utmost for, for you. I will dedicate to you the schus, the merit of all the prayers I say today, and thus from then, from this hour, the three merits, the mikvah, the tefillin, and all my prayers and davening, that will unite, giving you help. And Rabbi Moshe returns to Kosovo, gives his report. And Rabbi Menachem Mendel, said, and he spoke softly as always, but he spoke quite slowly. And when Rabbi Menachem Mendel of Kosovo spoke slowly, the effect on those listening was greater than if he had raised his voice and shouted. He says, you go, you speak to my brother-in-law in my name and say, all of this will not settle a single debt. When Rabbi Uri gets this message, puts on his coat, sets off for Kosov, he arrives, goes to his uh, brother-in-law and says, what do you want of me? And uh, Rabbi Mendel spoke very softly. He says, what I want is for both of us to travel around for a number of weeks and collect money from our people. For it is written, Thou shalt uphold him. Leviticus 25.35 And that is what they did. Prayer is nice. Putting on tefillin, great. Going to a mikveh, fantastic. But action, deeds, speak. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. 
And until next time, on behalf of the Imona Project, I'm Danielle, and thank you too much.